Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about some of the interesting properties of table fields. So here a data model is being presented which has a lot of tables as you can see and in the somewhere in the middle you have the fact table and couple of associated tables. So that is something uh, you can achieve by you know mentioning the joins or creating the joins between the two tables but if you come into this table viewer which you can do so by pressing the control T from your main screen. So for example, if this is not displayed to you, so you can just, or this front end is present to you, then you can press control T and you can come into the same, envir the same environment where I was earlier. So currently it is a bit cluttered. So I will simply resolve it by changing the source table view, which by default put the structure in little bit order. But if you have internal table view, then you have the options of uh, putting it or doing the manual adjustment of the table location. So for now, because it is easy and uh, uh, to just choose the source table view and put the structure in this order, I will go ahead and do that. Well, so the main topic of this video is to talk about these different fields which are present over here. And if you over a mouse over to any of the field, let's say this YYYYMM, you see a couple of uh, information. First thing is the field name and right in front of that uh, within the brackets key is mentioned that it is a key. The second row says information density which is 100%. The third row says subset ratio 100%. The fourth row says tag that what it is. Uh, different uh, uh, properties of this field. Similarly, if, if I go down like budget key, it is showing me some other information. Here, information density changed to 98%, subset ratio changed to 86%. So what does this basically say? Here in this case, both information density subset ratio is 100%, but in case of budget key, it is 98% and 86%. If I go down to line description, here information density changed to 98% but subset ratio is 100%. So what does these information, these 98% of information density or 100% subset ratio, what does it really say to you when you look at the data model and try to get a sense of it? So first let's talk about the information density. We will compare these two things. Here we have information density here in this YYYYMM column as 100%. And in the budget key, it is 98%. So this information density column says that how many or what is the percentage of non-null values that is there in your field. Here, when it is saying 100% for this column, then that means there is all the values which are non-null. That means all the values are present and there is no null value. Whereas in case of budget key, when it says information density 98%, that means there are 2% values which are null. So I hope you have got the idea about the information density. And now let's move on to subset ratio. So subset ratio is here it is saying 100% in case of this first field and in case of uh, let's say budget key the subset ratio is 86%. So what it basically indicates that the percentage of distinct values that is present in this field. So again the percentage of distinct values that is present in this field as compared to all the values that is present for this field in the entire data model. So let's say here in this case, the budget key, I just clicked on the budget key and the budget key column is highlighted with bold. And you can see that here in the budget detail table, the budget key column is also highlighted. So for example, what we can understand from here that if 100% of distinct values that are present in the budget key or budget key in the budget detail column, then only 86% of those values or the distinct 86% distinct values present in the budget key table. That means 14% of extra values that is present in the budget detail table are getting unused or not getting used in this table, right? So 
again in the case of account you can see that the subset ratio is around 44 percent so what it is indicating that given all the account which is present in this account master only 44 percent of the account is present or getting used or the percentage of distinct values are present in this table so that helps us identifying some of the issues about uh, obsolete data or data that is not getting used and uh, if you think that that is not required in your data model then you can get rid of if it is really really huge in that case because of uh, if expression is running in the front end then all of the data is getting iterated over each observation based on whatever selection or uh, complex uh, logic that you are writing so these are the two things information density and subset ratio uh, mainly i wanted to tag about uh, talk about the third thing uh, which is very simple is tags the last row which is nothing but it explain it is explaining what kind of information uh, this particular field is containing so let's say here in this case of uh, account it is saying it is key because it there is a key between or association between two tables based on this field that's why it is key uh, second thing it is saying numeric and it is saying that it has a numeric and third thing it is saying integer so it is saying numeric integer data it is having so in case of branch uh, it is changed to sky text value in case of uh, yyyymm since it is related to date uh, it is changed to uh, numeric integer timestamp and date so that's a very detailed description or the detailed tag which is related to the format of this particular field so that's pretty much all uh, very quickly i wanted to tell about uh, uh, the field details or the field information which you can find here in the table viewer so the with that, I will conclude it and uh, I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.